What is going on everybody? Let's talk about Bitcoin mining using natural gas from oil and gas wells. I've been getting asked a lot about it, so I'm gonna lay out some kind of ground rules that you need to think about if you want to mine Bitcoin or crypto or whatever you're mining or data or whatever you wanna do off oil and gas. For starters, you've got to be insured. You've got to have a sizable insurance policy. Most operators will not let you on their lease without like a $5 million policy. And you talk to your lawyers, everything. But if an operator does not ask you for insurance for injury or anything like that, then that's a red flag that you probably should do business with that operator. Because everybody, whether it be roustabouts, everybody should have insurance because there's a million things in this business that can kill you so you need an insurance policy second a system i am seeing that is really working well or the miners are filing as what are called gatherers meaning they are the buyers of the natural gas in texas it's called gatherers in other states it's called a various things but you file as a gatherer and then you have a license, in essence, to buy the natural gas and then use it for whatever you wish. But as a gatherer, that gives you the ability to pay the operator and pay the landowner, mineral owner, their share, and then also on the severance tax. The state of Texas, the Railroad Commission, they're working very diligently to get this done because nobody likes to flare off gas. Environmentally, the studies have shown it's actually very efficient and when you compare it to running it through a combustion engine like it's 50 50 so it's it's not even environmental what what everybody hates is the money lost the operators can't make money on it the state can't make money on it the mineral owner can't make money on it so you're just wasting so the opportunity is presenting itself for operators, landowners, and the state to make money so they are working diligently. So if you are a gatherer, then you have a right to buy the gas and set up your mining operation. Second, and this is very important, if you are going to use electricity from an operator, you've got to check to make sure they have enough power to their lease to cover you because a lot of the wells, you're limited on how much power you can actually pull from the grid because of lines. Now that's electrical, I don't know all that, but if you need power on top of what the natural gas is providing you, you've got to make sure that the power is available. Third, if you plan on tying in to the operator's power, you can't be cash rich and credit poor because you are pulling megawatts of electricity and that's not an easy contract to get. Uh, if you checked out pump jack power, very, very sharp people and they allow operators to get locked in rates of four cents a kilowatt, five cents a kilowatt and very cool system, definitely check them out. But they are like anybody else got to have credit to be able to get those kind of contracts so if you don't have any credit the, your ability to use the operator's electricity is probably going to be slim to none because they are going to be calling with their hands out and saying hey this is what you use this month where's the money so you got to have that done another big problem is there is a lot of oh hey you're mining bitcoin well i want more money so the paperwork has to be right with the operators with the landowners with the mineral owners they, they can't be separated landowners and minerals can't be separated so if you're using surface you've got to have all that straightened out as well you need to get with the landman you need to get with the lawyer but the gathering aspect, I think, is a really smart idea. There are wells everywhere where it's stranded gas. It doesn't make enough to even send it into the line. That's great for Bitcoin miners. 
there's other situations like the, the straw outside of Fort Worth around uh, Awesome Kingdom Lake makes really good oil but if the pressure builds on the gas it'll block the well up and it won't produce oil that's another kind of opportunity where you can come in and pull that gas off so they can make oil and get paid on natural gas that's another one but the gatherer I guess angle is a really cool angle I'm seeing and it seems to be working I haven't seen anybody got sued yet from it uh, the Commission seems to be a hundred percent behind it because it, it's revenue for them as well there's severance taxes but it's very exciting and I'm going to tour a Bitcoin mine soon so stay tuned for that if you like my channel like subscribe have fun